Wednesday, May 28, 2014, female hamster, one, and, one year and three, three quarter months old, fractured her right hind leg. Now she wasn't bearing weight on the, on the weight leg and uh, the fractured area became inflamed and reddish. So today the owner decided to accept the advice of amputation. Now to amputate the right hind leg of the hamster, I have shown the diagram of how I did it. Now firstly, firstly, I amputate at the at the fractured area which is the distal tibia and fibula. After, after that, the second stage is to control the bleeding because there's lots of bleeding on the muscles after you cut off the, the fractured leg. The third stage is to, to ligate above the mid tibia so that there is no more bleeding. After ligation with the 5 euro suture, 5 euro absorbable suture, the bleeding stopped immediately. From then, I pulled down the skin no, from then on, I have to amputate the, a bit of the, of the tibia so that, uh, so that I have enough skin to cover up the, the, the wound and to stitch up. Also, it's no good to have too long a, a, a stump because the hamster will be dragging it and causing friction. So I amputated a bit of the distal tibia and as you can see from this drawing or this illustration in, in green. So this part below the ligation, what I do was I amputate this part, second part. Then I pull down the, the skin to envelope the stump. After that, I stitch up the skin uh, with interrupter sutures, three, three, three sutures, all using 5-0. And so overall, this is the diagram showing how I did it. Basically, it's the same as in the dog. Now, you don't leave such a long leg hanging down because the hamster will, will feel that uh, he has to bite it, she has to bite it. So that's why you amputate a mid tibia rather than at the point where the fracture is. Because you are leaving a long dangling leg which might get into uh, infect, infection and irritation. Now definitely this profuse bleeding has to be to be uh, controlled, otherwise the hamster might die from bleeding. So overall, you can see I used only two drops I am, and the surgery took about five minutes. You have to be able to pull the skin upward so that you have sufficient skin to to cover up the stump. In any case. You still need to ligate it further up, about mid tibia, and ligate it a bit of the stump off as well. That means the second amputation. Now I'll show you the hamster. Now just take out the hamster. Now the hamster has been operated on, and uh, you can see. Don't move, don't move. Because I got to focus. If you keep on moving, I can't focus. Okay, you can see the stitches where the amputation has, has been done and uh, the hamster has recovered from zoletil anesthesia and uh, I don't know whether you can see the stitches or not, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, let me show you, it's a very uh, fine stitches. In any case, you can see that there is no dangling limb so that the hamster wouldn't injure 
the limb now there's some bleeding which I will have to uh, stop it there's not much bleeding now okay we put back the hamster into the container and let him rest uh, we will we'll check for the for the little bit of bleeding you can see that the this hamster is quite active and uh, has already fully recovered from from the anesthesia and uh, we have to wait and see uh, give, giving painkillers and antibiotics to control the any infection most of them are okay after amputation but this one we don't know yet as long as you have sufficient time to amputate the leg because it's not a one minute one minute job so you can use Zoretail 50 or Zoretail plus isofluorine but in this case there was no need to use isofluorine May 28, 2014 amputation of the right right leg not so bright, not so right right uh, hind limb fracture of the distal tibia and fibula of an active drop dwarf hamster never use wire cages as the hamster slip and get trapped and then uh, when the hamster tries to get the leg off the wire he fractures it easily this is quite common for much uh, May 28 to 0 on 4 Topayo Singapore